Tomosynthesis is actually mammography. It's a type of mammography and it's the next step of mammography. It has been um, revolutionized because it's now a 3D image instead of a 2D image. In the past, mammography has always been a 2D image of the breast and this is now a 3D image of the breast so we can look at the breast in a much more detailed way. We are able to take 15 images of the breast instead of one image in each view and we take all of those images and the computer synthesizes them into a 3D volume so that we can page through the breast almost like a CAT scan at one millimeter slices. So we can get a very detailed image of the breast and be able to tell if things are overlapping and causing something to look like a mass that's actually normal. So we have a much better idea of what's normal and abnormal in the breast as compared to the old mammogram. The exam is basically the same. It is a mammogram. The patient will not feel any different. It's the same amount of compression. The tube that takes the pictures, the machine that takes the pictures, will move over the patient. Okay. We'll take multiple Still. different images, 15 in total, at each positioning. And then the computer will take those and synthesize them into a 3D platform so that the radiologist can look at these at very thin slices through the breast to give the better detail and better uh, evaluation of the breast. Okay. Mammography has been the staple for screening for breast cancer. This is mammography only better. We get better detailed images of the breast with this new technology. There are two very big benefits for patients and we're very excited to be able to offer this to patients here in Northeast Ohio. One of the biggest is to detect cancer earlier at smaller earlier stages so that we can cure patients. We have a much higher cure rate if we catch cancer very early. Unfortunately, we cannot prevent breast cancer, so really our only um, hope right now is to catch it early enough so that we can treat it and have a much higher cure rate for those patients. The other thing that is beneficial for digital breast tomosynthesis is that we have less callback rates. So when a patient comes in for a screening mammogram and we find th something that looks a little bit suspicious or a little bit different than the year before, we usually ask that patient to come back and get additional mammogram images and possibly an ultrasound. But with the digital breast tomosynthesis, with these very fine detailed images, we will have much less callback rates for things that are actually benign and not anything to worry about that's actually normal breast tissue. I think it's important for patients to know who is reading their mammograms, first of all. Here at University Hospital's breast centers, we have breast imagers who are subspecialized and they have fellowship training in just breast imaging, so they're very focused on that. Also at the breast centers, we have other subspecialties that are focused on breast care as well. We have breast surgeons who specialize in breast care and breast surgery. We also have medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, geneticists, and plastic surgeons available who subspecialize and focus on breast cancer and breast health as well. So it's important to know that the patient has a team behind her, and I think that's a very important thing for patients with any kind of breast problems. Here at University Hospitals, all of the physicians who read the breast imaging are only focusing on that. They don't do anything else. 100% of their time is focused on breast imaging and they're all specialty trained, fellowship trained in breast imaging. So the benefits to the radiologist is this is a revolutionary new way to look at mammography in the breast. This is a great screening tool. We've taken it a step further in that we can take it that we get 3D imaging of the breast. We can take very thin slices, very fine detail, and it's very similar to looking at the abdomen, let's say, or the chest with a CT scanner. We get a much better look at the liver and the spleen. And so in the breast, we have the same opportunity to look at things at much finer detail, things that are overlapping, that may be normal tissue and looking like cancer on a regular 2D image will now look like um, normal tissue on the 3D imaging and then as far as picking up the cancer earlier we'll be able to see much smaller cancers in patients especially patients with denser breasts. At University Hospital Breast Centers breast health for our patients is our top priority. We're excited to say that we're part of an elite group across the country. We are now a certified pink ribbon facility. We know that annual screening mammograms starting at the age of 40 saves lives. 
digital breast tomosynthesis will help us discover these breast cancers earlier at an earlier stage when they're most treatable. So we invite all women to come down and experience the newest technology in mammography and the fight against breast cancer.